bottom of the sixth inning, and we are pleased to be joined by the owners, Mark and Debbie Adonacio. I like you guys sitting down there in your spot. That's we great. We don't want to here. shake things up. We're ready for a rally here. And great to uh, visit with you guys. Beautiful night here in Milwaukee. Uh, it's Summerfest is going on. What are your thoughts as you look around this ballpark, Mark, and uh, see a nice crowd and a good ball game so far? Just saying to one of our guests here from Manpower that uh, who moved here from the uh, Far East, and he said he just can't believe how, how nice it is here. I said, yeah, the, Debbie and I have felt that for 10 years now. It's just just uh, no better way to spend a summer evening. Well, we'll get Ricky Weeks in here, get started here in the bottom of the sixth. The Brewers with just three hits. And Weeks takes a ball. Well, Debbie, I want to ask you first. Uh, tomorrow, I understand you're going to be involved in a check presentation yes. on the field. Three hundred thousand dollars. Is that right? Yep. Going to the Brewers Community Foundation. Give us the details on that. Well, that money is for Sojourner Family Peace Center, and they have embarked on a very ambitious capital campaign to raise money for a new domestic violence shelter. Okay. Ricky Weeks slides one in the gap in left center and on his way to second. So Weeks responds quickly, a leadoff double here in the sixth inning. I think we have to stay on the air. Oh, for sure. I think that no, was, we're not going anywhere. Uh, I think there's some good karma with that <laughs> check you're giving out, Debbie. Maybe we should give another check. <laughs> so, yeah, continue on, Debbie. The Sojourner Family Peace Center. Yes. You have a big presentation tomorrow. $300,000 yes. is a lot of money. It's going to go to some great good, you would imagine. Yes, because they are building the new shelter based on a new model um, in which a lot of integrated resources will be under one roof. And they need a total of $26 million, and they're well on their way. You know, uh, the Brewers Community Foundation, Debbie and Mark, something that you two made a priority when you first uh, bought the ball club. Where is the Community Foundation now as to where you thought it might be or where you hope it will be at some point? Well, you'd always like to do better, Rock. Uh, I think we have gotten it to where we wanted it to be. We, you know, frankly, we're, we first got the team. There were a number of agendas, chief of which was to put a better team on the field. Um, and frankly, uh, as we chopped through those agendas, unfortunately, community support, you know, from where we wanted to see things was lagging. And then Debbie got all over me uh, on that. Uh, and, and by the way, pointed out that the Brewers' wives is very important. Uh, and, and we've had a, you know, a series of brewer, uh, players' wives through now in 10 seasons. Uh, that the charity is very important to them. So, uh, you know, we really amped things up, uh, increased our support. Debbie and I pledged a million dollars uh, to the Community Foundation to take the leadership role. And uh, over the years now, we've, the uh, last four or five years, I think we've given out money to 200 plus local organizations. Uh, and I also mentioned Cecilia Gore, done a great job, great job leading uh, the foundation and their efforts in the community. Yeah. Visiting with Mark and Debbie Adonacio with Weeks at second. Ryan Braun at the plate. And it goes to 0-2. Debbie, I understand you guys, uh, you had the wives' luncheon today? Oh, yes, we did. How was that? What we uh, what were some of the results out of that luncheon? There's a good well, picture of you yeah, guys. there we are in our apartment, Mark and mine. And um, well, we actually, I spent a lot of time complimenting them on their involvement in the community. You know, they've been involved with Sojourner Family Peace Center ever since Mark bought the team 10 years ago. And in fact, we're selling t-shirts right now in the store, in the Majestic Team store that have a big, beautiful, cool pink Brewers Wives logo on them. And all the proceeds are going to Sojourner Family Peace Center. And um, the, these women, they are just as active, you know, off the field as their husbands and boyfriends are on the field. They really love this community. Not many of them live here in the off season, but you'd never know that. Now the wives auction always a big hit as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Braun can do some damage here. Oh, and two, and he fouls it back. Now Mark sitting here with a ball club that has the best record in the National League 81 down 81 to go. This has been quite the season. All right and uh, Brian we just want to point out that's a matter of fact we're not uh, <laughs> where we're at. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> 
<laughs> the closer to the dugout you get, the more superstitious you become, right? Uh, that's uh, why I haven't shaven since I went to Hawaii last oh. week. Oh. <laughs> I feel like an Adam LaRoche beard is coming on me. <laughs> the 0-2 to Braun, and it's down and in. But, Mark, you know, you, you talked about in spring training how this group seems to have a cohesiveness in it and a focus even in spring training and it really has manifested itself into some pretty good play so far this year. You know when you look at at the success this year um, you know I think there's really two things that the players are playing at their level of talent which is high but we've been healthy and they really pulled together as a team and that's right Rock you could see it from the first day of spring training. It's a different feeling in the clubhouse this year. A little bit of that maybe Mark. Uh, Kind of disappointed in what happened last year and you know all the injuries guys feel on his own. Coming into spring training, big disappointment and focus in on this year a little bit more early on in spring training. I think that's one thing, you know, Ricky Weeks uh, said yesterday and uh, down, down at uh, in second base now that uh, you know a lot of the pundits, a lot of the writers who weren't counting us in that helped pull the guys together in the clubhouse. And, uh, and I'd also mentioned that uh, you know this this spring having Kyle Loach there the whole spring Frankie Rodriguez there the whole spring um, you know adding Lyle Overbay and Mark Reynolds at first base um, who brought you know some veteran leadership and uh, adding Matt Garza you know, to the group of veterans we had it you know it, it was a different core group of guys who pulled together and got on a different mission than maybe the prior year. 2-2 to Braun, a bouncer to second. Rutledge will make the play, but a productive out for Braun. Weeks advancing to third with one away. Braun is 0 for 3, and here comes Jonathan Lucroy now with a chance to put the Brewers on the board. We're visiting with Mark and Debbie at an A lot going on on the community front. And, of course, uh, you guys have the great seats down there. We can't take you out of your seats. Mark, I'm curious, Mark. Does Debbie does Debbie bark at the umpires much during the games? <laughs> no, no. She's pretty quiet. How about you? You know, uh, I think maybe in ten years. I remember once I just got uh, a little uptight back when uh, Ned Yost and Del Swain were on the bench, and I barked it. And I had never done that. They could hear me in the dugout and said, "Gee, guys, I'm sorry about that." I said, "No, we liked hearing that." That's, uh, that's good. Somebody how's else for a change. Yeah. How's everything? How's everything been at home? You guys uh, watch the games at home. A lot of close games. It's got to be a little bit nail biting out out there, huh? It's almost unbearable. <laughs> Every meal we're in front of the TV. And then of course we switch our seats depending on how things are are doing. To uh, <laughs> last night we had some guests who were a little older, so they were in the suite, and we. Uh, we set our position in the suite and at work we, we got runs and tack on runs we're looking Nobody for in the eighth inning. <laughs> <laughs> Have Nobody you guys moved. been in those seats for this whole game? We, like, uh, right but, in the current configuration? Uh, yes, except we did run up. Uh, no, we I didn't. moved over one seat. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Well, that, that's right. We did move over. But uh, we're, no runs here. You're going to have to mix it up a little bit. No, we're we're. we're we're back in our spot here. I think uh, we'll be okay now. Well, they got the infield in. Luke Croy at the plate. And Weeks at third base. And Luke Croy a there bouncer. And it's past to Lewinsky. Here comes Ricky Weeks. And the Brewers are finally on the board. And the drawn in infield allows the hit to clear. Luke Croy puts the Brewers on top. Uh, good fundamental baseball. Double, get him over, get him in. And. Uh... John and Luke Gard just continues to put together one good bat after another. The infield drawn in out of the reach of Tulowitzki. And the Brewers take a lead here in the sixth inning. RBI number 41 for Luke Roy has two hits tonight. Bumps his batting average up to 331 now. Second in the league behind Tulowitzki. And the seats paid off. For the ownership down we're, there. We're staying on the air. Yes. Right? <laughs> Stay just what I was say. You just, you're, yeah, you're not going to be able to get us <laughs> up the air now. <laughs> Gomez swings and skies this one to right. Carlos is retired. Two outs in the inning. Yeah, those mics are always open for you guys. You know, this is this is your air, so you come on whenever you like. Anytime well, you, you feel like you need a rally. I'm not that comfortable doing this, but I wanted to for Sojourner Family Peace Center. So you know how important that is to me. Yep, and we're going to get behind that, and okay. of course, uh, have a lot to talk about with the Brewers Community Foundation each and every night. Debbie uh, with the wives' luncheon earlier today. The wives' auction has been a big hit. 
the wives auction are uh, the for with the baskets with their husband's favorite things is that what we're talking about yes right yeah yes. well i made one for mark and this is the first year i've done that and i think it has the highest bid at the moment can you share what's in there yeah, what's yeah, in the yeah. basket um, well i think probably the most attractive item is uh four seats right in this area in yeah. the owner's box at a, uh, to a game that we will mutually determine with the winner. And um, we've got a wild card hat with its tag on from 2008, which Hard is- Hard to get. Yeah, it's quite rare. Um, Some good Italian wine. Yes. Well, there are a lot of Italian items in there. <laughs> Pasta, wine. Spaghetti sauce. Godfather DVD. Lemon, olive oil, uh, lemon oil. We do have lemon the Godfather olive. DVD, Yes, right? we do. We have the trilogy. Trilogy? Yes. Very and nice. Mm -hmm. Well, I could see why that'd be the highest yeah. bid. So how do you get that on Brewers.com? Yes. How do you get, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Brewers.com and that Wives Charity Auction. A lot of great items out there. And a Mark Atanasio game used autograph ball. Our Ramirez strikes out, and that will end the inning. Well, okay. great job, Adonacios, right, as you. usual, delivering with big runs. <laughs> Go Brewers! We'll continue <laughs> to promote Brewers Community Foundation and the Sojourner Family Peace Center.